Hello, welcome to another terrain guide. Uh, in this, we're going to make something quick and small and quick, but nicely detailed. We're going to make this uh, roadside shrine uh, for use in any war game. You can use it in uh, Warhammer, Age of Sigma, Kings of War, just something like this. So let's let's get making this. So you begin with a bit of foam that is an inch wide. Uh, yeah, so it's an inch wide, two and a quarter inches uh, tall, and one and a half inches what um depth wide here as well, long whatever. <laughs> uh, and then going to come in, uh, measure in half inch down from the top and an eighth. That's just over half an inch. Let's put a little line there. Half inch and an eighth. Put a line here and then just measure a line at the top here halfway through. So it's half an inch. Uh, do the same on the other side. Just to act as a guideline. Half an inch and an eighth. Half an inch and an eighth. I've got the wire cut pre done here. Uh, then just join those up here. So, do the same on the other side. Gonna cut those out. Next up, take a bit of foam and measure. It's going to be a quarter of an inch plus like a sixteenth of an inch and just slice these. One of the pieces and just eyeballing it and cut thin strips from it. These are going to form the brickwork on the way shrine. What we're going to do is use these to do a brick pattern rather than score into it. Mainly because I want the recess bit in there. So I'm going to carry on cutting these so I can get rid of this hot wire car so we can actually begin to see what we're doing. Next up, take a bit of free mill uh, chipboard, hardboard and cut it so I'll show you on the uh, it's an eighth of an inch taller than an inch and a quarter and it's an eighth and an inch wider than uh, well, actually it's dead on uh, one and a quarter inches so then just come in and freehand a sort of slightly curved arch so and cut that out. Then just mark out, you just want to mark out so a little inner part. So, and you're going to want to cut that out. Uh, it's be quite tricky, but use a sharp knife go over it multiple times shouldn't have a problem 
There you go. And you're going to need two of those. And what we're going to do is we're just going to glue it onto each of the long sides so it sort of touches the roof a bit like this. So I'm uh, just going to use PVA for this. It on. Do the side, do the same for the other side. This way, you got the uh, chipboard out, just uh, cut out little slivers like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue them onto the edge of the roof here for a bit of uh, extra detail. So, if you want like that, and glue a uh, matching one in here. Now we want to take some of the uh, slivers of cut off earlier and it's going to form the brickwork. So what I'm going to do is take that, I want a complete row on the top on this side. I'm just going to come down and cut it in half, maybe take a little nick off here and there, the top here, right here. I'm just going to glue those in here onto here so, so that's okay Next one's probably going to go somewhere like that because I want a little gap in there. Just going to put it in. So, next one is probably going to meet in the middle again. But I'm not going to meet quite in the middle, so I'm going to glue this in. The next brick, I don't want it to be as. I still want a little gap, so. so yeah, so it's just going to stick out a bit more. So, it's in. Yeah. So, I've just got to do this other side now. We'll make sure, though, the most important bit is to make sure that they're flush with this side here. going to do is I'll complete that other side in a minute. Come here another bit and just uh, pencil with this. We can measure the how, how much we want it. That would be to me. Cut here and then Ooh, on the brick. Tin. Do it so it matches up here. The next brick, just to make it less. I'm not too worried about going dead onto this. It's not what I'm, not what I'm here about. In fact, that might be too much. I might cut that in half for what I want. Get some glue. Put it in, and all we're really making sure is is that our bricks are matching both sides. Next one. This one. Put 
the bricks match up. It's like there, the one I used there wasn't the correct height. I think match up the width of this brick, the height of this brick. So there it is. Um, that's one sort of corner done. I've just got to do all the others. Um, it's easier because the glue takes a while to dry. It. It's easier to let this dry before to carry on with the uh, next stage. But that's the look we're going for. I'll do all the other sides now. Going to do the roof uh, next. Going to make this our cereal box cars and they cut little strips a quarter of an inch. Again, just eyeballing it. Uh, I've done this in the past where I've done it uh, using just strips and cutting bits in, but we're actually going to cut individual tiles for this just to, just to be different. Now, so once you got on, I'm just going to come in and just cut little squares. Whoop. And all I'm going to do is find a bead of glue along. And just lay down the tiles. That's the first row. Uh, for the next row, take a tile, chop it in half, and then lay down a bit of glue along the top. Some on the top of the tiles here. Oh. See why people use hot glue guns. EVA can be a bit of a pain, especially if you've got glue on your fingers already, so your fingers are sticky. But anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah. Put the towel on. So I'm just going to do the same on the other side and that's the roof done just got to make sure that the uh, top bits just meet up and it's going to leave this to uh, dry now that's how it's looking so far I'm going to base it on a bit of foam of course it's going to be a slab so I'm just going to place it I'm just going to put a little mark roughly where I want to cut, so come down here here like that I've got this little rectangle which I shall cut out now and I'm going to get some glue put it on the bottom And just glue it on. Next up, I want to uh, put some shelves just on this bit here. So I'm going to take so many uh, leftover bricks and just going to eye it up, put it in there, and just sort of work out where I want the cut to be. glue that in here and I'll do the same on the other side hopefully this bit will just fit in here which it does and glue those in but they're just a bit too a bit too prominent so I'm just gonna come down to lengthwise a bit 
and that's more like it so I'm gonna glue those in just put some glue round bits of the base not too much just mainly in the recesses and sort of corners because I want some gravel here just where some dirt and stones have just blown up in sort of breezes and winds and gas so four so I've got the uh, gravel mix here uh, there's a video on how to make this for like a few quid in fact you can make more than this for like two quid so only, you only use half a bag so this will keep you going for years if you haven't watched it go and watch that video but that's this is all I want to do just uh, just that much just uh, just so when it's painted there's just a bit of bit of detail on, on the base right it's now time to uh, read the bits box so add some detail on so this is what I've got so far I've got these uh, wog heads from uh, these are from Middle Earth SVG. I think they're using them on the corners as sort of wolf gargoyle heads. They'll go there. Maybe. Um found these this is um from a model railway set, some fencing, but I'm thinking of chopping the top bit off here, just adding it on some sort of roof spike detail there. Found these are from Tom Orion, these are some uh, wall torches and I might add those in to the recessed archway just to light it up. Uh, these two sort of hands, oh, I they're from some sort of warhammer thing, um, I think I've just add them into the recess there but chopping away the hand just so it's like some sort of hook thing that'll be painted in grey. We'll see I might keep the hands I don't know and then on the shelves here there'll be a Sort of book of knowledge there, imagine, and a chest containing sort of a reliquary chest, and the relic that will go on the way shrine will be stored here. So I'm gonna sort of add these on and play around with them. I've cut some of the fence to size at a height I want, so it's gonna look like that. It's gonna glue it on by super glue, I think. And run some super glue along the top here. Hopefully, uh, that'll be enough. Could be a bit delicate, but gluing the uh, wolf's heads on now to the side. That's what the uh, top bit's going to look like. A bit worn, a bit ragged. Um, I'm not using super glue for these. I'm using uh, PVA because super glue does have a tendency to uh, react to uh, polystyrene. So this will take a bit longer to dry, but it won't damage the polystyrene. So what I'm doing is putting a blob in the back of the head and just sort of sticking it onto the corner. Like so. This is it complete, all dry, all put together. Looks just got to uh, undercoat it in black now. Before we begin the painting. So here it is undercoated in a mixture of uh, Mod Podge, water and black paint. And we're just going to go over it in grey now. And now uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to want to leave this black and the paint needs a dark grey. Uh, so I'm just going to go over in this paint here that I normally use, a base coat for stone base base coat for stonework. It's called Storm Cloud. And apparently, I can't speak today, so I'm going to just paint over all this. So. Too wide if I do get any on the tiles. Mainly the um, the torch. I don't want to get too much on. Base grey's on. I'm going to use this urban grey, which is really light grey, and do a dry brushing around it. Games Workshop terms. This would be an all thing type grey, I guess. I'm just going to. Dry brush on. 
try and pick out some detail. And particular attention to corners and raised parts. And this is it, finished painted. Uh, I've painted the torches, brown and a bit of uh, silver around the, uh, I think the hogs torches in. Painted the flame, painted it white, dry brushed yellow, and then more towards the top, dry brushed it purple. The only other thing on here really is the chest, which is brown with some silver. And this is the uh, way shrine complete. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a nice little, nice little build. I've quite enjoyed making this little thing. Sometimes uh, making all the big projects, I forget about the little small things and make this look quite good on the uh, tabletop. So, look forward to making uh, another small thing soon. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you've liked this and you haven't already, uh, hit the like button. Please, please subscribe. And if you could, just share it around to uh, different forums and let them know that. There's a load of terrain guides on here. There's a channel doing terrain guides. That would be really, really helpful. Thank you.